Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and uh, tonight I am checking out the Diablo 2 Resurrected Alpha. Uh, what I'm actually checking out is a couple of different characters, but I want to play with the controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. This is my first time really trying it, and it's pretty interesting. There's some pluses and some minuses from what I've seen. Uh, the movement actually feels really good. It uses the left stick, obviously. Um, and, you know, since this is a, a digital stick, you can actually, you know, just press it down lightly. And I don't... Can you do this with a mouse? I don't know that you can. You can actually, like, walk. I guess you can hit R to, to walk, but it's like you can actually, on the fly, change your speed. You can also change direction, I think, a little bit faster than you can with the mouse. It seems that way anyways. Uh, there's some interesting things, like... You hit start to bring up your inventory, and you have like a virtual kind of mouse on the screen, basically. I don't know if I love this. I think like Snap 2 might work better. But from here you can move things around. And this is just a trap assassin. I've played with this recently. I'm going to do a couple minutes on this and maybe check out one or two other characters. And there doesn't seem to be a lot of options as far as um, the controls go. I think maybe they're, they're adding those later. Yeah. But basically, if you have a controller plugged in, it automatically brings up this different interface. Um, so for binding skills, for example, you can see there's a square symbol under here, a triangle here. All you do is you highlight the skill, and then you hit square, and then it'll ask you, you know, where do you want to sign this? Uh, right now I've got it set for square. Like if I hit triangle, it would change it to triangle. And now I picked the Trap Assassin because this is a character that I feel um, isn't doing like direct melee attacks. It would be a good example for maybe some of the oddities of playing with a controller. So for one, uh, when you cast something, it just casts right in front of you. So if I drop a trap, it basically puts it in front of you. But if there's a wall in front of you, I don't, I'm not dropping a trap right now. It doesn't like do it right in front of you. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no like virtual cursor. You can't cast this closer or further away. It's always like a set distance. So like if you were trying to, you know, cast these in a doorway or something, you would probably have difficulties. Is it playable? Yeah. Do you lose some of the subtleties of the mouse? I think you do. And it just feels weird having traps just drop willy-nilly wherever. The same thing with, uh... with the fire here. It's, uh, it just seems to be dropping at my feet, and maybe this isn't fully momented yet, but that does not seem... Oh, okay. It targets. Interesting. So it auto-targets if there's something in proximity. Okay. That makes it a little more useful. I need mana. I need mana. And you've got your potions set up for the directional buttons. You can see that down there. One thing that I found interesting is uh, teleport. So I've got that set for R1 right now. And it just teleports you whatever direction you're facing. It actually feels smoother than I was expecting. But like if you want to teleport closer, like maybe you're just trying to evade an attack or something. You don't have that granular uh, capability. It's, it's basically just teleporting as far as this is possible. Again, is it playable? Yes. Uh, would it be how I want to play? Probably not. If I'm on my computer, I would be using a mouse and keyboard. Uh, I understand that this is going to have cross-play and, uh, and cross-saves, I think. So, like, that'd be interesting. I would maybe consider buying this on, like, the Switch so I could play this portably and, you know, maybe laying in bed, watch a TV with the wife. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. 
But other than that, I don't really see me playing regularly with a controller um, on on the PC. It works well enough, I mean, this is hell difficulty, and I'm fighting a Nario. But, it just feels off. I do like that auto-aim on, on the Fire Blast, that's actually pretty cool. But the traps I definitely don't like. You should have like a, a cursor that you control with your right stick. In here I've got a Barbarian. One thing that's pretty interesting, so I'm using my mouse and keyboard here, and if I pull my controller out and I just hit at a button on it, it automatically changes the interface. I find that really nice. That's a clever way to do it. So on the fly you can switch back and forth. Uh, I've got to set up the skill tree here. So if I click back on my mouse, you'll see it has all my bindings. If I change to a controller by hitting X, the bindings are separate for each loadout, basically, for each uh, control method. So I really need to come in here, and, and the main reason, I just wanted to test out uh, Whirlwind. Curious how this works with, uh, with a controller. And this is not, by any means, like a great character. Uh, this is just for testing here. See, we'll set you up here. It's definitely harder to control. So it, it feels like, it seems like, it goes for a certain distance, and it may be, you know, three, three squares or something. And I cannot change the direction of my whirlwind during that time. Like when it's doing that, that's like one click. And actually if I hold down, it'll keep going in that direction indefinitely. I'm not holding the directional pad, I'm just holding an X down right now. But if I... It definitely doesn't feel quite right to me. I'm gonna go back to my mouse and keyboard real quick. Okay. Here's the world. And you know, it goes wherever you target, so it does finish like the current whirlwind before it does. Like, if I'm holding down my right button, it always goes where the cursor is once the, the current rotation is completed. I switch back to my controller here. I guess it, it, it does function the same way. It just feels... I played it one way for 20 years, so this is obviously going to feel wrong. I don't know that I could, uh, I could get used to this. It's definitely a little finicky, because there are times where, like, I'm trying to change the direction on it, and it doesn't seem to want to let me change it. physical immune and I am doing nothing to them. Overall, the movement feels pretty good. Some of the skills feel like they definitely were not made to, uh, to work with. With a controller. Another one is uh, this leap here. Leap attack. With a mouse, you can leap pretty much to the end of your screen. But with a controller, I'm limited to about this distance. Let's see if I can get away from all the enemies. Even with no enemies in the area, that's as far as it's leaping. If I switch back 
here. I can leap as far as I can click on the screen, which on an ultra wide is pretty far. That's not possible right now with with the controller. So that's another thing that's a little maybe optimal with a mouse and keyboard, unless they change the distance on that before release. Here's the last one I'm going to test out for tonight. This is a sorceress running Blizzard. And uh, I want to see how this functions. So obviously, Blizzard, you kind of need to aim it. But again, what it looks like is it basically just casts it whatever direction you're facing. Which... So, like, it, let's say you're trying to run away. You know, if I'm, if I'm playing this... I'm going to go back to it real quick. If I'm playing this mouse and keyboard, I can Blizzard behind me while I continue to run away. Whereas, if I switch back, I love how easy that is to do. I have to actually be facing the direction of my cast always. Overall, I think they're doing the best they probably can with the controller, but... I think some abilities would benefit from having, like, a reticule on the screen or some way to target more directly. Maybe they'll add that. Um, but at the moment... It, it seems like it's set to like a dead zone, like there's a almost like an invisible target on your screen. See, there's an enemy there, but it didn't target them, it just went to like a designated spot on the screen. Though there does seem to be some amount of auto aim too, but I'm not yeah. sure like when it kicks in. And like, what happens if there's multiple enemies and you want to target one in particular? That seems like wouldn't be possible with the, with the setup they currently have. It's certainly playable. Is it how I'd want to play? No, probably not. This blizzard is super overpowered. I gotta say, uh, the controls themselves, the, the left stick, feels pretty nice. And if they could work out the targeting, I could see this being a fun way to play at time. Especially if, you know, you don't have a PC capable of playing it, or if you want to play on, like, the Switch. It's so hard to play like this after playing uh, mouse and keyboard for so many years. It feels so weird, that's all I gotta say. Well, I'm gonna end it here. I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes showing off some gameplay with the uh, with controller. Um, I don't know how much more in depth I'll get with it, but I found it interesting. Uh, I'll have some more videos up. I'm trying to put together uh, a Fury Druid and a Werebear video. Uh, I just put up a video for um, uh, for a Windy Druid, and I've got a couple others kind of in the pipeline that I want to put together. I'm just trying to get the character set up, so I'll probably have some later in the week, uh, into the weekend. Just keep an eye out for those. Again, if there's anything particular you want to see, uh, leave a comment below, send me a message, I'll see what I can do. But thank you for watching, and have a great night.